Right now, Mooresville police are trying to identify a burglar who is armed and considered dangerous. Surveillance cameras have captured that person breaking into numerous cars, and that includes at least three marked police vehicles. Fox 59's Max Lewis has new surveillance video tonight and a warning from police. Max? Mooresville police say the burglar hit cars in several neighborhoods, including this one. Last night and early this morning, there have been other strings of car break-ins here, and detectives now believe they were all committed by the same person. It was around 4 o'clock this morning when that brazen burglar snuck into Hannah Payton's carport. Her ring camera captured him using a flashlight to rifle through her unlocked car. He had left the glove box open and the console and everything was all over the front seat. He made off with just a bag of change, but her car was just one of the several that he hit. Police say the crime spree went through several nearby neighborhoods. Cameras there recorded them smashing car windows with a gun strapped to his hip. From the video, it looks like the, the person that's doing this going around looking through any with the flashlight and then they see something that they want, they break the window out. Chief Kerry Buckner said a gun was stolen out of one of those vehicles last night. It's at least the fourth firearm stolen out of a vehicle in less than a month. Police believe this man is the same person who broke into at least eight vehicles in late September. Three of them were marked police cars and all had guns stolen out of them. The suspect is hooded and wears gloves, which Chief Buckner says has made it more difficult to ID him, but he says it's only a matter of time. Our detectives aren't busy like big city detectives and they have time to work on this and that's what we're doing. We're going to work on this. We're going to use every piece of evidence we can and try to identify who's doing this and then we have a great prosecutor who's going to prosecute him. Buckner says the fact that he's armed makes every break in a potentially dangerous situation. Peyton says it's slightly shaken her sense of safety and she plans on making sure her car is locked from now on. But in a city and a county that Chief Buckner acknowledges is heavily armed, her warning is not for her fellow citizens, but the burglar himself. And eventually he's going to walk up to the wrong house and he's going to get seen and He's not going to be able to do it any much longer. Now, because this person is armed, Mooresville police say if you see them, do not approach them. But they are still asking for tips, so anybody who has any information should give them a call. In Mooresville, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. All right, Max, thank you.